You're likely here because you struggle with fat around your hips, also known as love handles. No matter how hard you try or what you do, you just can't seem to get rid of them. I'm gonna give you four simple steps to get rid of your love handles for good. The first step I would like you to take is your nutrition. Nutrition is super important. We need to be in a calorie deficit in order to lose fat. That's burning more than we're consuming. And the thing is, even with a calorie deficit, it can feel difficult, it can feel tricky to get rid of your love handles. That's because on most people, this is the stubborn area of body fat, the area of body fat that will go last of all. So when creating this calorie deficit through nutrition, we need to think about sustainability. We can't expect overnight results and we can't try and rush things. Most people, maybe you've done this before in the past, try to rush things. They try to speed things up, go into a crazy deficit, start to feel tired, lethargic, just overall like garbage, and then they just quit. You may have heard some wild transformations like people losing 10 pounds, 20 pounds a week, but the problem with this is it's too fast, and it's not all fat. An ideal weight loss goal would be like one pound on average per week. The first few weeks you're gonna lose a lot more because you just have way more to lose. Between my personal experience, my experience with clients and my research, I found that a calorie deficit of 20 to 25% seems to be meaningful enough and at the same time sustainable. So the way you gotta work that out is you work out the calories you need. So you work out your BMR. And then what you wanna do is you wanna work out the activity factor. So like I'm showing you on screen now, I'd use a simple calculator that implements the Mifflin St. Jure formula because that just seems to be the most accurate with a training population, people that are lifting weight. We'll get into that later on. And then take that total and times it by 0.8 for a 20% calorie deficit, you can start this, or 0.75 for a 25% calorie deficit. And I may sound like a stuck record here, but don't expect overnight success. It didn't take you two weeks, two months to get to where you are right now. It took you years. It could take anywhere from six to 18 months, depending on your starting point, to get rid of your love handles. Step two, resistance training. Resistance training won't directly get rid of your love handles, but what it's gonna do is gonna help you build muscle, build the body you want, get that shape you want for when you do actually lose your body fat. And if you choose not to use resistance training and just focus on cardio and a big calorie deficit, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lose a greater proportion of your weight from muscle. You're still gonna lose fat, you may still end up without love handles, but you're not gonna look the way you want to look. You're gonna be under-muscled. Your metabolism will also slow down. You'll be burning less calories at rest, less calories when you exercise, meaning you're gonna have to eat even less to get rid of those love handles. One study actually found that if you lose a lot of muscle when diet, you're more likely to actually gain the weight back. And I'm sure none of you actually want to do that. Step three, this is where most people get their panties in a twist and either do too much cardio or just neglect it completely. There's no like halfway point. And while resistance training itself doesn't burn many calories, it probably burns around, in an average session, around 200 calories. And I don't suggest you chase burning more calories. You can benefit from doing some cardio, burning some extra calories. Some people can get away with doing no cardio and usually those people have a more active lifestyle. They'll just be outside more. They'll be more active in their everyday job, but like for whatever reason, and they'll be getting in more than enough like steps without actually realizing it. But if you're like me and most of my clients, you're at a desk most of the day. You're not being active throughout the day. So you have to be more intentional. So adding in some cardio can be beneficial. That doesn't mean just going to a hit class and absolutely hammering yourself or doing hours and hours and hours and hours upon end of cardio. It just means factoring in some more movement. That could be a walk, that could be a run, but I actually recommend starting at walks. Walking is the most sustainable form of cardio. And if you look at me and you're like, oh, walking's not cardio, you can burn a fair amount of calories just going for, let's say, 
a 30 minute walk a day, you can burn about an extra 150 calories. If you go for like factor in an hour of walking a day, you're looking at around 300 calories. If for whatever reasons you can't fit these walks in, yes, by all means, jump on the treadmill, jump on the bike, jump on the rower, do some low to moderate intensity exercise. I say low to moderate, because it's gotta be sustainable in the long run. It's also gotta be more low impact as well because you don't wanna be hammering your joints and hammering your body and not being able to recover from the resistance training sessions. So what I recommend you do is track your current steps. How many steps are you currently doing? Let's say you're doing 4,000 or five, let's say 5,000 steps a day. The average American's probably doing like 3,300 when I last checked. So what you can do there is, gradually increase that, increase that by 2,000. Do that for a few weeks, then increase it by another 2,000. Aim for roughly between eight to 12,000 steps a day. And then what you can do is, if you can't get that in, factor in two sessions of cardio, 20 to 30 minutes of low to moderate intensity. I recommend the rowing machine, I recommend the exercise bike, because they're low impact on your joints and they're easy to recover from. What you can also do as well, if you want to, at the end of your gym session, you can add an incline treadmill walk on like just 15 to 20 minutes. This will help like, increase your step count quite a bit. Step four is adjusting. Not many people remember to do this because they just think that, you know, I'm on a diet, I've been following my nutrition plan, I'm training, I'm gonna get results. But there is a point where your body starts to burn less calories. You've lost a fair bit of weight. You start to burn less calories because A, you have more mass and B, you're just tired and you're moving less throughout the day. So this becomes a point where you hit a plateau, you hit a wall. Remember, you've only hit that plateau if you've got two to three consecutive weeks without results. Without results, I mean like you're not losing weight, your waist measurements are not going down, your body's not changing. Remember, to be honest and have an honest reflection of your progress. When you hit this plateau, you have two options, to eat less or to move more. What you do is up to you and depends on what you're currently doing. If you're currently doing a lot of exercise, you don't wanna do any more, you can just reduce your calories by 100 calories a day. And then when you stop getting results for two to three weeks again, then you do the same. You just repeat that, just 100 calories less a day. But if you're not doing much physical activity and you want to do more, you can do more, then you can add a small bit of like physical activity. Maybe you get in some more steps or maybe you get in an additional cardio session. Like I said, you need to be in this for the long run. So don't expect overnight results and you have to keep pushing forward. Every single one of you watching this can get lean enough to the point where your love handles vanish, they're gone for good. But what I'm gonna tell you is, it might be a lot leaner than you thought, and you might be more than happy with the way you look before you even lose your love handles, like you've lost most of them. They're still there a tiny bit, but you're happy with your physique, and that's completely fine. Either way, if you follow these four steps, the four simple steps I laid out in this video, you're gonna get rid of them, at least most of them to the point where you're gonna be satisfied. That's all I really wanted to cover. I hope this video helped you. If you've got any questions at all, comment below, deeper questions, feel free to send me a message on Instagram. That's at Adam Scott Fit. Have the best day ever, and we'll talk soon.